Every bride dreams of the perfect wedding day. But for a $5,000 budget boost, would she hand over the planning to her groom? If she's ready and willing to throw the dice, then it's I... But at what price? Robert, you gotta calm down here. I know your numbers, and this is just not in your budget. How is she gonna walk? She's gonna be oh. exhausted an hour she, in. She'll be fine. She's gonna love it. She'll be all in the moment. She'll be energized by the day. Every time you see something, you're like a kid in a candy store. I mean, this wedding's gonna cost a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars by you. No, no, but David, I'm just. I want this to be grandiose. Do not worry. I'm keeping things within reason, but I don't. All right, you know, sacrifice let's move on to the way. next item. Let's just get this over with. Weddings are a theme that's never ending. Weddings are a bride not keen on spending. Weddings are that's ever ascending. Meet newlyweds Robert and Erica. They accepted an extra $5,000 towards the planning of their wedding if Erica agreed to give her noble groom complete control over the wedding plans. Will Erica regret her brave decision, or will Robert deliver a wedding fit for a queen? My name is Robert, and I'm a 28-year-old commercial producer. I met Erica, a policy analyst, six years ago in university when she missed an Italian class and asked to borrow my notes. Since then, neither of us are Italian, but it feels like we've known each other forever. This is the story of how I planned our lavish wedding affair to remember. I'm giving over the planning of the wedding to Rob because I'm really not a details person. I don't like all that planning and budgeting and all that kind of stuff. He loves it. I want to plan this wedding because I want to prove that guys can do it. And I want to make a wedding that's special to me, and I really want to do something for Erica. Our wedding day was romantic, magical, just spectacular. I could not have asked, you know, unforgettable. That's the best word to describe it, unforgettable, because I planned it. Wow, tell us how you really feel. I feel great. Confidence is key when taking on such an enormous task, so it remains to be seen if Robert's spirited attitude will make him Erica's Prince Charming, or if his enthusiasm will get him banished from her court. I had a lot of things to pull together for this wedding. Lots of great ideas, but my vision needed a ton of research. So I had to enlist the help of a to work for me. Work for you or with you? You make David sound like your slave. More like a caretaker. Meet wedding planner David Valley. With his 17 years of experience, he hopes to help groom Robert achieve his vision without blowing his budget. My role as a wedding planner is to encourage the groom's good ideas, discourage the not so good ones, help him work within his budget as he tries to make his bride's wedding day dreams come true. Rob, a great meeting you. Um, and as you know, because Erica's agreed to give up control of the wedding, we are going to give you a $5,000 budget boost. And you trust him with this? Well, I do, I do. You know, I'm a little nervous, but you know, overall, I think, he, I think he'll do a good job. Your words are saying one thing, Erica, but your face is saying another. Rob, are you up to the task? Oh, I'm totally up to the task. I have a clear vision. I'm more calm under pressure. Sometimes you can get a little frazzled. I've aced the proposal, so. This should be a piece of cake. The proposal is easy, bended knee and a decent ring. This is a lot tougher, this whole wedding planning business. Let's get started with some of the details. H have you guys chosen where you're gonna get married? Yeah, we're, we're getting married at a local church, 100-year-old mm -hmm. church, big stained glass windows. It's gonna look Sounds beautiful. beautiful. How many guests? Uh, about 110 to maybe 120. Okay. Rob, is there anybody in your circle that you can rely on in terms of the wedding planning? Well, though we've made my house a bit of a wedding-free zone, my roommate Gil would be great at helping me plan. Are you kidding, Gil? Oh, he, oh. he would make a fun, entertaining Give me a evening. Break. People, it would be memorable. People would love it. No, you're not. Him. You're not. You're not jiving on the Gil planning no, the wedding I mean, business. No, I mean they've already said his place is a wedding-free zone. How is that someone who's going to help you plan a wedding? Do you have anybody else that you can ask for help, Rob? Well, my sister did get married last year, so she yeah, can I give a bit of a feminine opinion on things and, you know, she's a know-it-all because since she's gone through it. Uh, who's better with the budget? Is it Erica or is it Rob? Well... I would say it's me. It's uh, me. It's, I don't like to skimp on the important things. Right. Speaking well, of I, money, who's paying for the wedding? We are. We are. You are. You're both... You're, you're paying for it? All right. Well, that's all you get in terms of your say with this wedding. I'm going to ask you to leave the room so I can discuss some of Rob's vision with him when you're out of earshot. 
Think of it as a planning free zone. My vision for the wedding is just a down home shindig in a barn with barbecues, square dancing, haystacks, just super simple, no pretense. Okay, Rob, so what's your overall vision for the wedding? My vision is I'm really into like Shakespearean and old English sort of themes, so I want to kind of tie that in. Okay, all right. Now, have you picked a venue that's gonna reflect this theme? I haven't chosen a venue, but I'm wondering if I can find a place that has that kind of Renaissance medieval theme, maybe like a chateau or a castle. A chateau or a castle? That doesn't sound expensive at all. There aren't that many castles around here, but we'll see what we can do for you. One of the more unusual things you're gonna have to do is pick Erica's dress. Well, you know, I was thinking of, uh, you know, Shakespearean type costumes, something very like, you know, think of like the Costume? queen, very like, you know, elegant. And you very want beaded. her to look like a wedding day. I have to tell you, Rob, I mean, with costumes, you go from queen to drag queen in about 30 seconds. Like, it's a real fine line here. I'll walk the line. Okay, yeah, we don't want you marrying some queen of the desert on your wedding day. All right, entertainment's a great place where we can infuse the wedding with its theme. Have you thought anything about entertainment? Well, I really want the entertainment to reflect the medieval theme, you know? There are so many ways that we can that we can add, like, you know, minstrels or joust sword fights. We can have Fighting? wenches and we can have, you know, knights, like, greeting people at the doors. You know, it's gonna be like an awesome medieval renaissance party. Well, I haven't heard the word wedding yet, so we're still safe in the wedding free zone. Now that we've sort of discussed these major things, you gotta promise me not to tell Erica, and we're gonna bring her back in the room. My lips are sealed. For the wedding, I'm planning Old English theme. It's gotta be lavish, extravagant, and perfect wedding for the queen of my heart. Now that we've done this, I've only got really one question left, and that is, what's your budget, guys? Will this budget work with the groom's vision, or will it cost him in the end? Now, we're gonna add this number to your $5,000 budget boost. And Rob, I really hope you're gonna work with me on this one. No problem, no problem. All right, Erica, you're looking nervous. But because you've been sport, we are going to give you back control one element of your wedding. Oh, nice! Underneath one of these cakes is a major item from your wedding. Choose a cake, and that's your item. Okay, oh, I can't wait. What's it gonna be? Coming up. Look at How is she gonna walk? She's gonna oh. be exhausted an hour she, in. She'll be fine. She's gonna love it. She'll be all, she'll be energized by the day. 